What's up guys? Welcome back to the Redneck TV channel and today we're gonna be doing a Q&A and I'm gonna show you some shit. I guess it's gonna be a vlog or whatever. <laughs> Alright guys, as y'all know, on my last video, my first time dipping story, I asked y'all, you know, ask some questions because I'm going to do a Q&A next video. And yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing a Q&A. Um, I asked for a Q&A because, I mean, I've never, I don't have a Q&A on this channel. Other than the frequently asked questions, which aren't really Q&As, they're pretty much just a comedy skit. But I haven't had an actual Q&A, so I'm going to do that today. <coughs> you just... Damn! First things first, I apologize if my voice is real sick sounding because I am pretty sick. You know, the weather's been all weird. Seems like everybody's getting sick now because it's god awful weather. I can blow my nose. <laughs> so fucking nasty. As you can tell, I'm not in my video room. I'm actually in my bedroom because I didn't feel like going in the video room since I'm going to be going outside or showing y'all shit so what's the point of getting all set up and comfortable in there when i'm gonna be moving around but first as always we got a freaking pack ass lit copenhagen wintergreen today leave it in the comments what you dipping on and if you ain't got one in pack one with me y'all whoa oh yeah i haven't had a dip all day this is my first dip of the day and it's like two o'clock two something in the afternoon so i've been eating a dip you got a tiny bitch We need a filler, y'all. Mm. Mm. So why don't we just go ahead and get to the point of the freaking video, which is asking or answering the question. First question is from uh, Diesel is King. Actually, he's been a freaking subscriber since 800. I remember him. But he said, how many guns do you have? P.S. Ford's the best. Well, damn right on that, but I'll show you my guns, but... I gotta freaking get move my comfortable position. So let's go downstairs real quick. Hot diggity damn. This is the freaking gun cabinet right here. Uh, my dad's got like a few pistols around the house, but I'm not gonna touch those because dad never wanted me to, so I'm gonna be respectful and not touch them. This is the first shotgun I ever got. This is a Mossberg 410. It's a squirrel buster. I shot my first squirrel with this thing. It, I mean, pretty solid gun. I guess my dad sold my 22. Um, I never used it anyway. Here's dad's freaking AK-47. This is just a Ruger semi-automatic. Takes 22 bullets, you know, it's 22. This is a 17 cal bolt action. It's a pretty good gun. Uh, I don't think it'd drop a deer. It's probably not strong enough, but at the back of my grandpa's house, I used to use it to, there was bobcats everywhere and shit. I think they were bobcats anyway, but they'd freaking jump on uh, my pops' truck my grandpa's when we were little they'd be all around the backyard and he'd freaking hang out the window with this sniper and he'd go Dear <clears throat> this is also my grandpa's uh pops's he's dead now so my dad got all of his guns it's a little what's this called again <laughs> my bad y'all i can't think of what this is called again uh I'm not real smart right now, I just woke up not too long ago because I stayed up all night editing, so I'm not real fresh on the head right now. This is a freaking 22 and it goes <laughs> And last but not least, this is my gun. Uh, the 410 and this gun are the only guns that are mine. I had a 22, but I don't know where it's at. But after I had that 410 a while, I grew up and got bigger, so... And I still loved hunting squirrels and rabbits, so I got me a R870 Express 20 gauge. Yeah, this is the 20. My dad has a 12 and they look identical, so... Yeah, this one's the 20. This one's mine. This is a really solid gun. It's a lot more powerful than that 410, and I've killed a lot of squirrels and rabbits with this thing. Down to the second question. It is from Baxter Outdoors. He said, will you ever quit dipping? Well, I ever, if I get like gum disease or there's a big nasty sore on my tongue or dip just goes up to like 40 bucks a can, I'd probably quit. Because at that point, it's not worth it anymore. Dip's not that important to me. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love dipping. Um, a lot of people that dip, they regret starting and stuff, but 
I like dipping, y'all. I love the flavor of it. Love sitting back with a dip in, playing video games or whatever. So, will I ever quit dipping? Uh, probably one day when I get older. Probably quit. Third question is from Sir Cryptic underscore Bills. What's made you make a YouTube? I made a YouTube channel because it started off me and Micah was on it. Uh, Micah, my cousin, mainstream dipping. Uh, we started off, we were bored. We always watched Outlaw back then, so we thought he was cool, so we wanted to copy him and make videos like him, you know, we wanted to be YouTube dippers. But then this channel started getting bigger and bigger, and another reason I wanted to do this because uh, I find enjoyment out of making people happy and stuff. I'm not sure why, it just makes me happy and makes me laugh and smile when I can be stu act stupid and make people laugh, so that's another reason why I started YouTube. Next question is from Brendan Godfrey. Hey, Redneck TV. Will you ever do a meetup somewhere? Uh, meet and greet like Outlaw does. I probably won't do a meet and greet anytime soon because I only have 13,000 subscribers. I mean, that's not really enough. If I did one, only like two people would show up, I think, if I did a meet and greet in Kentucky. So there's really no, why would I do one? I mean, I'm not famous or nothing. Maybe I'll do one at like 100,000, 200,000 subscribers. If my channel like blows up while I'm in high school, I'll probably do one a uh, senior year summer when I'm 18. I don't want to do a meet and greet till I'm 18. You know, because 18, you're legally an adult. So I, I don't know why that matters, but I just want to be 18 to have a meet and greet. Grizzly Boy One. He's been a subscriber for a really long time. I remember him. Will you ever follow me on live.me? JK. Yeah, Grizzly Boy. Boy, I'll go follow you on live.me right now. Uh, let's see. I think his username's Grizzly Boy One. Grizzly Boy One. Grizzly Boy One, right here. I'm pretty sure that's you. I'm gonna hit that follow button right there. Ashton Curry. How many times have you jacked off, beat my meat, choked the chicken? I don't know. Uncountable. <laughs> Is airsoft, bro? Why are you so effing hilarious? I'm not sure. I'm just a comedic person. My personality is funny, so I'm funny, so I just act funny. I don't know why! Uh, here's a dumbass. I said on Instagram, I said, leave a question in the comments on my YouTube, on my latest video, because I'm doing a QA. and a And then, apparently, this guy uh, just left a comment on Instagram. He obviously didn't watch the video. When did you meet Micah? I don't know. I mean, apparently, you don't watch my videos, because I've mentioned so many times that he's my damn cousin! You've probably watched, like, maybe... Half of a video, maybe. 100 bat 7308. Do you like pussy? <laughs> Team USA, what do you edit with? I edit with that computer right there. And what I edit with is Sony Vegas Pro 13. Isaiah Prather, what's your biggest goal in life? My biggest goal in life, uh, a really big goal of mine is obviously making this YouTube channel into something really big, you know, make it a career for me. Because I love entertaining people. I, I just love doing it. Another goal is to be become a really good mechanic, uh, automotive technician. I want to learn everything about trucks and cars of all types, so if anybody ever has a problem in my family or something, they ain't got to take it to a mechanic and get charged $30,000 for an oil change. So they can just take it to me, and then, you know, I'll change their oil and shit. I already know how to change oil, but, like, I want to learn everything. I don't know every single thing. I know a lot, but I don't know every single thing about every vehicle ever created, and, you know, nobody does. I, I just want to be really mechanically smart, so... Nah. Rebecca Morgan! What's the worst dip you have ever tasted? The worst dip I've ever tasted is probably Decade Wintergreen. That shit is disgusting. Oh my gosh. Just cheap dip in general. Kayak, Skull, Longhorn, Timberwolf. They all suck. Stokers. I don't like Stokers. Stokers mints, okay, if you're a mint dipper. But anything else, you know, they suck. Copenhagen Wintergreen, Kodiak Wintergreen, Grizzly Wintergreen other expensive brands like that. Yeah, th those are okay. Redneck Chewer. Do you have a pit? And if you do, what kind? This is the dog I have. He's a little shih tzu. He's got a nice little Christmas sweater on. He's real cute. But this is my best friend right here. He's my brother. Uh, you know, he's a pretty good dog. He's trained really well. Dad trained him really good, so he's a smart dog. He's a good duck hunting dog, but he shits everywhere. Nasty damn thing. Junia, Junetta Dippers, Jun, Junetta Dippers. How long does it take you to edit a video on average? It literally takes me like a whole day with the video editor I have because it's just real complicated and stuff. Like I haven't completely learned to use the whole thing because I've only had it for like a week now. But it takes me a good while to edit a video. I mean, probably about a whole day. Especially the long videos I've been doing. Those are freaking pains in the ass to make. Cool into Scholar Reacts. How big 
is your dick. My cock is like two centimeters long, hard, on a good day. No name 240. Would you rather dip only skull berry for four years or only skull cherry for three years? Uh, that question don't really make sense, but I'd rather dip skull cherry than skull berry because I don't know, skull berry is just, I don't like that at all. Skull cherry, it's, be it's sucks, but it's better than skull berry. So I'll probably have to say skull cherry and plus three years, uh, that's shorter than four years though. Austin had Hedja Duck. Would you drive a Cummins? Hell yeah, I'd drive a Cummins. I'd drive just about anything other than, you know, pussy cars, such as Priuses and all that shit. Fisher Roads. Have you ever done drugs? <laughs> no. Smoke weed every day. If you had $500 million, what would be the first thing you'd buy? Probably a damn house or a nice big ass diesel truck, power stroke or something like that. Hell, I don't know. Jacob Pearl, Pearlta. Redneck TV, how did your parents find out you dipped and when? My stepmom wasn't around when dad found out, but my dad found out after I got out of the woods one day, I had a dip in and my breath was stinking like dips. He's like, you've been dipping? I was like, yeah, so that's how dad found out. And then my dad got married like six months ago and you know, nobody cared that I dipped then, because, nah. So yeah, stepmom didn't really care. If you don't know, I call my stepmom mom, so don't hate on that. I call her ma, so yeah. Mind your fucking business. Redneck TV, you should do a suicide with Kodiak. Literally the only flavor I've ever seen of Kodiak is wintergreen. I'm pretty sure they have straight somewhere, but I've never seen it. And they don't have any other flavors. They used to have ice, but they don't have that anymore. And they might have mint, I don't know, uh, I've never seen mint. So that wouldn't really be a suicide, and plus, I don't do suicides. It's freaking outlaws thing. <clears throat> Twisted Tree, can you do a Christmas video? Uh, yeah, man, I'll do a Christmas video. Tell me in the comments. I got a video from my first video I've ever made during Christmas. It was with me and Micah. If y'all want me to react to that or something, tell me in the comments. Southern Life, everybody go subscribe to Southern Life. Uh, he's the guy that brought me the computer from Florida, and he makes awesome videos, y'all. Like, if I'm ever, like, two weeks out of uploading because I'm real busy with school and stuff just go to Southern Life's channel because his videos are literally just as good as mine he edits just like I do with the loud ear rapes and everything so go give him a subscribe his channel link will always be in the description on the very bottom so subscribe to him but he asked would you rather smoke a cheese packet with the plastic paper on it or do read it smoke a cheese packet Probably smoke a cheese packet because I cannot re-dip. That just makes me sick. I hate re-dip. It's all soggy and ugh, I can't re-dip. The only time I'd ever re-dip is if I just put one in and then dad says supper's ready so I'd take it out and set it on top of my can and then go back upstairs. But I would not put a re-dip back in my freaking fresh can because it would get shaked around and it would just mix it together with all the dip and make all the dip just nasty. Danny Craddock, what chair do you use for your videos? I got a rocking chair. That was my grandpa's. It's very old, like... Uh, it's been around since I was about seven years old. So I'd say that chair's about, mm, uh, eight, nine years old. So that chair's really old. It's still on tip top condition, but I'm going to have to get a new chair. I'm thinking about getting a computer chair for Christmas. So I'm going to freaking have it so I can roll to my freaking computer desk and then roll to the other room to record videos instead of packing that big ass chair across the room to room. That's the only chair I have. Legit squad, which do you like better? You like a big ass or big tits? Dude, ass. I'm an ass guy. I mean, tits, it's nice, you know, watching titties bounce and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'd rather have a big ass and big tits. It's just me. Brian Mitchell, what's 33 plus 79? Uh, 112. I'm kind of fast with math. I don't know. I've always been good at math in my life. Maybe that's like a hard math problem to think about in your head, but... I just like took away the last numbers and added them. Then, you know. Ah! Benjamin Birchfield, what would you dip if they discontinued Copenhagen? Probably Kodiak or Grizzly. Um, those are okay dips, but I love Copenhagen. I can't get off of it and I can't go to anything else right now, so it'd suck if Copenhagen got discontinued. Mitchell123, LMAO, Kodiak don't make pouches. This ain't a question, but. <laughs> Come on, dude. Kodiak doesn't make pouches. Are you kidding me? I literally have a video of me having a Kodiak pouches can uh, on the video, how to hide dip from your parents. I have Kodiak wintergreen pouches. Are you, they make pouches. Dumbass.
asks, Copenhagen Dippers, what do you think about smoking cigarettes? Yeah! Cigarettes are nasty. Well, that's really the last question I had, so, uh, freaking sorry if I couldn't get to all y'all. I literally had the video up for one hour, then I answered the questions because I like recording when my parents aren't home. Because it's just weird recording a video when my parents are home. Freaking, I don't know why. I like, I just much enjoy recording when they're not home because I can be as loud as I can and everything. So I guess we'll get continued with this freaking vlog and I'll show y'all the things I was going to tell y'all about. Um, I'm currently, my, I'm going to be working on a truck. And I was wanting to know if y'all wanted me to record that footage of me changing out the exhaust on a truck because the freaking metal hose broke that goes all the way to the top of the intake or the manifold thing and it goes to the top then goes to the bottom to the exhaust it freaking the metal hose broke off, off the manifold so i gotta repair that whole thing so if y'all want to see that footage make sure you tell me in the comments give this big this video a thumbs up but the truck i'm working on it is not the ranger uh the danger ranger that i showed the truck tour of it's actually not my truck anymore it's dad's truck but the truck that i'm changing it on is my uncle's he left it down here because there's an exhaust leak on it and a few other problems i forgot what they are at the moment but i'm just going to show you all the exhaust in a minute but it's actually not my ranger that's having the problems or not my ranger dad's ranger but a problem the freaking ranger's having is uh the, you know, I showed y'all that frame rust. Uh, Dad just got a new rear end replaced on it. I was going to do it for him, but he, <coughs> he had a junkyard staff or mechanics over at the junkyard change out his rear end. He got a 373 for it, and it's pretty, it pulls real hard now. It's awesome. But one of the leaf springs are broken, and they cannot change the leaf spring. Because off the frame, there's these little holders that hold the leaf springs, and the holder on the frame, it's just rusted in half. So that freaking thing has no support at all. It's just a big rusted piece of metal, and the the mechanics at the place told us not to freaking load anything in that truck because it's, he said, uh, my dad done it before and that guy said, you got freaking lucky because he said, you throw a little, little load in there, you go driving, that freaking thing is going to rip off the frame, your truck's going to go, Bang! so yeah, they got to freaking cut that thing off, he's going to take it to a body shop because, uh, we don't have a welding machine. Plus, I can't weld that good. The only time I've ever welded was literally yesterday. I just learned to weld yesterday at the tech school. I'm in automotive class, and I went to the next class over because it was bored, and I just started, you know, welding. I never, never saw anybody weld before. I've never tried welding, so I had no experience at all. It was stick welding, so, you know, I'm actually pretty freaking good for a beginner. That's what everybody was saying. I mean, you freaking got these, it's like jumper cables. You hook one up to the table on the ground and then you have the other one. You get your big rod there and you freaking put it on the middle and like kind of strike it like a match and then get it started and bring it up and freaking, I, I like going in little circles like that. It makes a pretty good straight weld like that. But my first time freaking trying it, I, was, I didn't know, nobody told me anything. I just freaking got it, just stuck it to it, got, kept sticking on there for freaking, uh, Rob was sticking on there. I couldn't even start the damn bead. I was getting pissed off and then the second time I tried it I got the hang of it and then third or fourth try my freaking wheels are pretty damn straight So not a bad bad welder, but we don't have a welder so I can't weld it myself So why don't we stop blabbering and put some damn socks and shoes and a jacket on and I'll go show y'all What's wrong with that damn truck? I hope my neighbors aren't outside because I don't like recording in public it makes me feel freaking weird but Let's put this freaking jacket on real quick so we don't get all cold and shit because it's always cold outside now in freaking Kentucky because it's getting close to Christmas uh, First day of winter today. I'm pretty sure well damn I have this freaking headlight and I was gonna freaking use that to show y'all uh, The truck and shit, but I can't freaking find it freaking pop this hood right quick Is the freaking 4.6 liter the Tritton freaking six four point six liter. I'm really familiar with this engine because in uh, automotive class we freaking worked on we had an expedition with the same kind of engine so we freaking took that thing apart so many times so I'm pretty familiar with this kind of engine. I'll we'll try to freaking turn my brightness up right here but this freaking metal hose right here uh, I don't know if y'all can see that down there it's freaking uh it's broken right there off the manifold. But there's a freaking nut back here I gotta freaking take off and it'll take that hose off and then down there at the manifold the, bro the bolts are real rusted so I'm gonna take them bolts off, uh, try to, it's gonna be pretty hard and get a bunch of WD-40. Then I'm gonna take that manifold off and put a freaking new one on. But that's really all I got for you today on the Redneck TV channel. If you wanna see me do that work on that manifold, want me to do a 
video on. Just leave in the comments, let me know if you want me to do it. Sorry if I said any mistakes with the truck, you know. Feel free to uh, correct me, but don't be an asshole about it. Like you dumbass, it's not called this, it's called that. So sorry if I made a mistake. Sometimes I freaking call things the opposite of what they actually are. Don't know why, my freaking head goes backwards sometimes. But make sure to use my promo code RNTV15 for 15% off www.mudjug.com. Off your whole entire order, anything on there, you can get 15% off. So yeah, save yourself some money there. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, we're growing pretty fast. I'm gonna try to upload a bunch this Christmas break, probably every other day, so probably growing even faster. So yeah, hit that subscribe button, really helps me out a lot. Turn post notifications on too. And remember, always keep on dipping and keep on spit. Eat freaking eat, y'all. Somebody.